Happy Reset Day, Guardians. My name is Delta Enforcer, here with your Division Weekly Vendor Reset. All right, let's get started. All right, first up this week at the Dark Zone Gear Vendor in the base of operations, we yep, have ourselves a pretty good near guard roll prototype firearms mod. It rolls with 266 firearms, which is one down from the maximum firearms of 267. And then it also comes with th just over 3,000 points of skill power, which is pretty good if you're looking for it. The max, I believe, is around 3,300, so this is definitely something you should pick up if you've been looking for one. This week at the Advanced Weaponry Vendor, it looks like they made it up from last it. week's really terrible selection. Whatever you First need. off, we have... A tactical UMP45. It comes with brutal commanding and ambusher. If you roll off the commanding or roll off the ambush, you have a pretty good roll. Next up, we have the tactical ACR. It comes with fierce, vicious, and determined. If you're looking to build a crit based assault rifle build, this is definitely where you want to start because with this, you have a total of 15% extra critical hit chance. So, definitely something to look out for if you're looking for it. Next up, we have the custom M870 MCS. It comes with responsive, ferocious, and meticulous. Definitely roll off the meticulous to a brutal or a deadly or a destructive if you're looking for PVE rolls. This is definitely what I would roll. Next up, we have the extended magazine. It comes with 110% magazine size, 4% critical hit damage, and 2.5% critical hit chance. I know that Math has said that in the PTS, they have fixed the magazine, the extended magazine blueprint, but until that happens, we still have to make do with what we have. This is a pretty good magazine to get. If you're looking for an extended mag, um, definitely pick it up. All right, this week at the special equipment vendor, we have a liberator with responsive and vicious, and then the last slot is sustained, so definitely roll off sustained, roll for competent, or whatever you want for your damage boost of your abilities. I'm going to slowly school As for the armor that's being carried this week, I'm just going to slowly scroll through and you guys can take a look and see if there's anything that you might need. I'm sure I'll see you again. At the Wolves Den safe house, we have a very decently rolled M249B light machine gun. It rolls with ferocious, brutal, and determined. Um, if you do not have the high enough electronics for ferocious, you can roll it off to destructive. Or if you do and you like determined, but overall, this is a pretty good light machine gun this week. Oh well, catch you later. At the grind house, safe house, we have ourselves Enhanced AUG A3P. It comes with deadly, talented, and brutal. Now what you can do is you can roll off brutal to vicious or fierce or destructive and you have yourself pretty much a god roll SMG. And, <coughs> and lastly, at the crypt safe house, we have ourselves a very nice first wave M1A. Comes with ferocious, destructive, and adept. You could easily roll off adept for brutal. And the only downside is this marksmanship rifle only comes with 150% headshot damage. But overall, this is a pretty decent build if you want a faster firing marksmanship rifle. At the East 61st Street DZ checkpoint, we have. Omega Rifle Suppressor with 17% headshot damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 2% accuracy, as well as a C79 scope with 3.4 times zoom. 
18% critical hit damage, 2% accuracy, 4.5% optimal range. The reason why I chose this one is because this is the type of scope you'd want if you have a dead eye build because you still have to zoom in with it and its main attribute is critical hit damage and it's 18%, which I believe is 1% down from the max of 19%. At the Park Avenue DZ checkpoint, we have ourselves an MP5 ST with Dominant, Fierce, and Unforgiving. For this gun, I would roll off Dominant and put on Brutal or Destructive. This is a really good roll. Fierce and Unforgiving are really good combination of gun talents for a PvP submachine gun style build. So definitely roll off Dominant. At the East 46th Street DZ vendor, we have ourselves... A pretty decently rolled MP7. It comes with Dominant, Destructive, and Adept. If you want to roll off Dominant to a Brutal, then you have a pretty good gun altogether. This week at the East 34th Street DZ Vendor, we have ourselves a prototype firearms mod with 259 firearms roll of a possible 267 as well as 3% skill haste. This is a pretty good mod. If you need a firearms mod with skill haste, pick this one up. At the West 53rd Street DZ Vendor, we have ourselves a T-Rant Suppressor, 7% critical hit chance and 4% critical hit damage with 2.5% stability and 50% reduced strat. This is great for your pistols and for your submachine guns with the, with the smaller suppressor. It's really good because the primary stat is, is going to be critical hit chance. The 7% is very high out of possible seven and a half percent as the as the max for this type of suppressor so pick this one up if you've been looking for a critical hit chance suppressor at the dz04 safe house the vendor has a near max roll stamina mod the major attribute of signature ability resource gain is three percent but it's still pretty good to make it a little bit better probably want to run health on this but if you're looking for just a straight mod for stamina this is one to pick up it's only 21,000 DZ funds so that's pretty quick to earn you might regret not buying from me all right last but not least at the dark zone special vendor in DZ06 I'm just gonna scroll through this equipment slowly so you can figure out if you guys need it or not I'll be waiting when you're ready to deal. My name is Delta Enforcer and that has been your weekly division vendor reset video. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys later.